Did you know that you can prep for your trip at the Dollar Tree? Let me show you. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Haley from HaleyWithTheFlare.com. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe and you can also follow me over here on social. I'm so excited about this video today. It is one of my favorite topics and probably some of my best tips that I could ever give you guys for planning a trip. I do a lot of trip planning for packing at the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna show you why. Today I'm gonna show you my top five items that I always get at the Dollar Tree to either replace or Lord knows I've had a couple of these for a while that just work really well for all sorts of travel. Number one, the pop-up hamper. I'm a huge fan of pop-up hampers. I am one of those people, I think it comes from me working in hotels for 14 years. I am very particular about how I want my hotel room to look. I don't want it to be a mess. So I like having a pop-up hamper. When you get this in the package, it's actually about this big. So it fits in your suitcase really well. And then I pop it up in my closet or right next to my closet if I'm cruising or if I'm in a hotel, Airbnb you name it and then all the dirty clothes go in here so then at the end of my trip all i'm doing is just kind of re-rolling uh, re them part of me and then sticking them back in the suitcase and what's great is they're a dollar and if they end up busting you can always get another one for a dollar they're not a very expensive replacement so highly recommend number two I like packing a travel toothbrush. Some people might call this wasteful, um, but Dollar Tree is where it's at because you can get a toothbrush and the toothpaste that is travel friendly size, ready to go. It's a soft bristle brush, works great in a pinch. I just don't wanna lose my expensive toothbrush when I'm on the road. And I can tell you from working in hotels, how many expensive Philips, Sonicare, dentist, you know, prescription only toothbrushes I've seen and lost and found in my days. Number three should be everybody's new favorite, Lysol wipes. That's right, you can get Lysol branded travel package size wipes at the Dollar Tree. I'm a big fan of these. I got them before I went to Paris last year, you know, before the world shut down. And uh, it was crazy. It was kind of like this golden ticket that I had because all of a sudden they became sparse. Currently our Dollar Tree is limiting you to four of these. So head over there and stock up. And number four, you cannot have Lysol wipes without having hand sanitizer. It's nice because they come in small containers right here. So if you don't have some of the travel friendly refillable bottles, these will fit in that TSA liquid allowance. And if you're looking for ways, by the way, to lighten the amount of liquid you have, make sure you click, I'll put a little link up here for my previous video on how you can actually limit your liquids and save space for other things, maybe like hand sanitizer. And last but certainly not least, travel jars. These are fantastic. Sorry for the crunching in the mic here but um, they're a plastic container. They screw off, screw on. I use this to take my vitamins. Um, if I have a bigger, heavier skincare bottle that is not TSA friendly, because I like to bring my skincare and my uh, carry-on, I will use these. I will displace to these and you get three to four for a dollar. Nope, it's three. I couldn't remember if it was four because obviously this is partially opened. But these are a lifesaver. I love these. Again, kind of going back to that organizational thing. And the fact that you get three for a dollar is a great price. I hope you guys like this video. Dollar Tree also has some really great travel size items for shampoos, conditioners, deodorants. So don't forget about checking them out for that. Sometimes you can even find little activity books for kids there if you're flying with kids. Dollar Tree is just a great source, so don't sleep on them. Check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back next week on Wednesday with another travel vlog. And as always, stay safe and feel free to ask me any questions. Bye, guys.